Today we are going to discuss the WEAR coat of arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer a genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss is blazoned ghouls, a lion rampant argent, armed and legued azure, debruised by a bendlet sable. Now, the note on this says it was registered in Ireland. However, I cannot find who or any evidence of that. I'm not quite sure. It is similar to the arms of William D. Ware, which I assume is the William de Ware who was alive in the year 1290, a Franciscan friar and theologian born in Hert Hertfordshire. Azure on a chief oar, three sinister wings erect of the first. This was granted in 1604 in Dublin, Ireland, it says. Now, there was John Ware, who was born in Yorkshire, the son of Christopher and the grandson of Robert. He moved to Ireland and died in Dublin. He was the father of Walter, William Ware, Elizabeth, Sarah, James Ware, and Peter Ware. Now, there was later in the family Nathaniel Webb Ware, Esquire of Woodfort in County Cork. Now, I don't have any evidence that, that um, this belongs to them, but it, if it's from Ireland, it has to be one of, one of the members of this family, most likely. And given that it was granted in 1604, I would say one of the earlier members, but um, I wasn't able to confirm that. If you have any information on this coat of arms, please let us know in the comments. Another from Ireland for Sir James Ware, born in the year 1568. He was Auditor of the Revenue in Ireland, a Member of Parliament, knighted in 1610, the son of Christopher Ware, born 1544, and grandson of John Ware. And he was the father of Sir James Ware, born 1594, seen here, an Irish historian, member of parliament, auditor general, and privy councillor. We have another coat of arms confirmed to Anthony Ware of Raleigh in County Essex, alive in the year 1634. He was son of John Ware of Greenwich, Kent, and grandson of John Ware of Chipley, and of Kent. They were descendants of Robert Lawyer, born around the year 1300, who married an heiress in Devonshire. Here we have the arms of Ware of Poslington in, in Suffolk and of Hendon Hall in Middlesex. Charles Nathaniel Cumberledge Ware, a squire of Poslingford, County Suffolk, and of Hendon Hall, was born in 1800, the son of Captain John Cumberledge and Anne, the daughter of Samuel Ware, Ware, Esquire of Highgate, and the nephew of Samuel Ware, Esquire of Poslingford and Clare, and of Hendon, who was alive in the year 1844. Ghouls, a lion passing argent, an orly of eight crosses, crosslet or crest, a boar passant. Wasn't able to find the armager on this one. If you know, please let us know in the comments. Ghouls and lion pass an argent between eight crosslets or within a border of the last palette. Ghouls, cruisily, and a lion rampant argent. Roger de Laware, born around the year 1250 was the first Baron of de la Ware, Lord of Isfield, Governor of Burg Castle, and the son of John de la Ware, who died in 1277, a descendant of Sir John de la Ware, First Lord of Bristleton, who was granted the Wiccan Manor by Prince John in, eight, in 1185 AD as a reward for his loyalty and bravery. Here we see it with the ghouls Cruisily Fitchy. And this is the arms of War of Hestercombe and War of Chipley. John the War inherited the estate when he married Elizabeth Marriott, the only daughter of Sir John Marriott, during the reign of Edward II in the 14th century. 
His descendant, Richard Ware, served as High Sheriff in 1465 and was the son of Robert Ware. Now Ware of Chipley, there was John Ware. He inherited the manor of Chipley and Toland from his father, Richard Ware of Hestercombe, who died in 1601, a descendant of Robert Ware, who married Thomason Chipley. And then John had son Edward Ware, who continued the lineage. Here we see Hestercombe in the modern day. Another coat of arms for the War Baronetcy of Hestercombe in the County of Somerset, a title created in the Baronetage of England in 1673 for Sir Francis Ware, subsequently Member of Parliament for Bridgewater and Taunton. He was the only son of Sir John Ware of Hestercombe House in Taunton, Somerset, a knight of the Shire for Somerset. Here we see Margaret, daughter of Sir Francis Ware. Argent on a band between six Martlets Ghouls, three Martlets Ore. This is for the, I believe it's actually for the Ward family, but it is listed as being spelled Ward or War. And one from France, Philippe Ware of Abbeville, France, an advisor to the King, Lieutenant General of the Constabulary of Picardy in France. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.